hello everyone welcome back to crown geek in this video i will be explaining that how to fix settings not opening or working properly on windows 10 pc and laptop so what happened that when you try to open your setting by making a right click on the windows icon it doesn't comes up and many people have the problem like me when i go to setting it comes up but when i try to open any of the settings from here like system or apps nothing is happening it doesn't click up right you can see I'm trying to clicking on it, but nothing is happening. None of the application is coming up. I will be sharing few effective solutions that you need to apply and I'm very sure that this problem will be fixed. Number one, you have to click on the search box type CMD. You will be getting command prompt, right click on it and choose run as administrator. Then click on yes, the black window will be coming up. Here you have to type a command SFC space forward slash scan now hit enter now this command will be looking for some kind of integrity violation in the system file and if there is any it will try to fix it so you just need to wait until the command has been completed <laughs> all right the command has been completed and it says windows resource protection did not find any integrity violation so it seems that we did not got any solution from here but still i will go back and try to check whether the security is working or not no no effect so i will close it and move with the next solution in the next step you have to click again on the search box type powershell you will be getting windows powershell right click on it and choose run as administrator then click on yes the blue window will be coming up now here you need to paste the command that you will be getting in the description so copy the command come back to this powershell command and paste it by making a right click once pasted you have to hit enter and then you will be getting a message operation completed for C Windows Immersive Control Panel. All right, now after doing this, again go back and see that if the problem has been fixed. And if not, then you have to copy the next command from the description and then you need to paste it here. Once you paste it, you'll see that such kind of page will be coming up. The command will be running. And meanwhile, it's running. What we can do, we can just minimize it. Next, what you have to do, again, click on the search box, type R-E-G-E-D-I-T. And from the suggestion, click on registry editor. Then click on yes. The registry editor box will be up. Here you have to look for HKEY current user, double click on it. Then go to software, double click on it. Then scroll down and you need to look for Microsoft. Double click on Microsoft, then you have to scroll down again and look for Windows. Once you get it, double click on it, then double click on current version. And then here you have to look for policies, so look for policies, double click on it. And then you will find Explorer, double click on Explorer. And even you will be getting this path in the description, you can directly copy and paste here to directly come to this path, okay. And once you click on Explorer, you need to right click on the blank space on the right hand side, go up to new, choose dot 32-bit value. And here you need to rename it as no control panel. You need to type exactly as I'm typing. Once done, double click on it and make sure the value data is set to zero. Then click on OK. And now you can close it. And now what you have to do, you just need to restart your PC. And after that, check back if the problem has been fixed. So let me quickly restart and see whether the problem has been fixed or not. And if not, then we will move with the last solution. All right, the system has been now restarted. So what we will do, we will again go back and see whether the setting is opening or not. So we'll right click on the Windows icon and click on settings. Then click on system. And now you can see that my security is working properly. All the options, everything is coming up. All right. Now in case still if your problem has not been fixed, then what you can do next, you have to create a new user account. For that, click on the search box again, type CMD, right click on command prompt and choose run as administrator. Click on yes, the black window will be coming up. Here you have to type few command that is net space user. Then you need to type a new username that you want to create. Okay, so it can be like crown two. Then give a space and type the password for this username. I will type password as password 012. Then again give a space or a slash add. Hit enter. 
this command completed successfully and we have created a new user account by this name and with this password now we also need to give this username admin permission so what next you have to type net space local group space administrators space and again type the name of the username that you just created so like it was crown 2 on my end and then you have to give a space again then forward slash and add again hit enter so now we have created this username with the admin permission all right so what next you have to do you just need to log out of this screen and then you need to log in with a new user account that you have just created and after logging in then you have to go ahead and update your windows operating system once you have updated you can come back again to this user account and see if the problem has been fixed all right so that's all guys hopefully this complete list of solution will surely work for you and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe for any question let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye